I decided to cook my patty pan squash southern style this time, which means you add bacon. So um, I wanted to keep the beautiful shape of the patty pan squash, so I cut it along the diameter. And I went ahead and cooked four slices of bacon. This is an applewood and hickory smoked bacon. Really good. Very good smoky flavor. And then I had some beautiful red onions from the garden. This one wasn't quite completely cured yet, but I wanted to go ahead and use it. So I'm slicing that. I'm intending to caramelize that in my cast iron skillet just to make it a little sweeter. And then garlic chives. What a wonderful little easy plant to grow with loads of flavor. So I'm just going to um, use about a tablespoon or so of that. And I removed my bacon. It was nice and bubbly, so that's always a sign to me it's ready and, and it's finished cooking. I drained the drippings, and I'm reserving about one tablespoon for the onions. I went ahead and cooked those and added a generous pinch of salt. When those were about the color that I was looking for, I went ahead and removed those and set those aside while I cooked my patty pan squash. I added one tablespoon of grapeseed oil. You can use any kind of cooking oil that you like. I reduced my heat from medium to medium low, salted my squash, and then I just began to brown it. I don't want it black or burned or anything like that. So I kept it covered so that it would stay um, moist as the liquid would cook, cook out and I added some pepper as well. If you want all of your squash to be about the same texture, add your slices that have the seeds in it later. Let the first ones without the seeds cook down a little bit first. And then as you can see I added my onions and my bacon crumbled up and I continued to cook it a little bit more until it was the texture I was looking for. added my garlic chives about one minute before it was done. And let me tell you, it was smelling so good. So I, I went ahead and put it on my plate with a little extra, of course, of the onion and bacon. <laughs> Topped it with some Parmesan cheese. It was really good. I really liked the different um, textures that it took on. Some of the slices had the seeds in them, so they were softer, and some of them did not have seeds. So those were a little bit, uh, had a little more of a bite to them. And then as I was eating it, I realized how pretty it would be to leave um, the patty pan squash uh, it, with its shape and then add in the center some of the caramelized onions and bacon. So next time I make it, maybe I'll do it that way just to make it pretty. Hopefully you can try this, and if you do, let me know how you liked it. Thanks so much for watching, and have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm.